But first, a young woman gunned down in Turlock, killed by her alleged stalker. Thanks for joining us here at 5. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Elizabeth Kling. Our news is also streaming live on CBS News Sacramento right now. CBS 13's Madison Keevy is live in Turlock, getting answers about his criminal history and their relationship. Madison. Yeah, her name was 22 year old, or her age was 22, and her name was Sobeda Escara, and she was parked right here last night. Employees here at O'Reilly Auto, Auto Parts shared that with us. You can still see in this parking spot the glass left over from the vehicles where employees here say again that she was parked. Of course, she was waiting for her boyfriend to get off of work here and was followed by Juan Francisco Ibarra Tapia, who police say then started shooting the glass from this crime scene, a serious reminder of what Zoe endured. It's much more common than we think. Domestic violence is defined as violence committed by someone in the victim's domestic circle. According to Turlock Police Chief Juan Francisco Ibarra Tapia, and Zobeda Esquera had a working and romantic relationship in the past. And domestic violence is something that we take very seriously. Um, it's something that can tear families apart. In this case, um, Zoe was ripped apart from her family at the tender age of 22. It's heartbreaking, and it's, it's heartbreaking for her family. It's heartbreaking for our community that something like this could happen here. Zoe, as her friends and family knew her, was stalked before Tuesday night. According to Turlock Police, Abara Tapia was arrested in Merced County last October on charges of stalking Zoe, but was released on bail. We're working to get answers about the status of those charges, but what about what Zoe endured? It's more common than we may think. We have to start to open up the conversation more and allow it to not be such a taboo subject. That's clinical and forensic neuropsychologist Dr. Judy Ho. She explained many times the victim tries to leave the situation multiple times, but isn't always successful on the first attempt. A worst case scenario of what played out in the parking lot of this auto shop in Turlock Tuesday night. This is a very, very common problem, and sometimes people isolate themselves because they feel ashamed and they blame themselves. Turlock police say it's not clear if domestic violence played a role during the relationship, but considering the past history of stalking, the city's police chief said he believes justice will be served for the family with Ibarra Tapia in custody. Now, this investigation still continues. I'm told that Turlock police were actually at Ibarra Tapia's house in Livingston today, searching for more evidence. He's being held right now without bail. And by the way, this is the first homicide the city of Turlock has seen this year. Ah, so sad, so tragic, it's such a young life. Madison, thank you. Live in Turlock tonight. A reminder that help is available for victims of domestic violence. The domestic violence hotline here on your screen is available 24-7. You can also text START, the word START, to 88788.